Hey guys, welcome. I'm so excited to be back. It has been a day. I actually took a day off. Well, it was my cardio only day yesterday. So, um, you know, didn't feel that it was like going to be fun to film me running on the treadmill. So, um, decided to skip live, but, um, I am back and we're going to be doing shoulders and triceps. Um, I am going to be doing the warm up a little bit different today. And the reason being is because, um, I, I do have sensitive shoulders, so I do have to be careful. Shoulder health is extremely important, and I'm sure there's a lot of you that might even be having some shoulder issues, uh, which is fairly common. Shoulders are usually very sensitive, and you can hurt them very easily. So another great way to help with like your shoulder and stuff is to make sure that you incorporate rotator cuff exercises and some mobility movements. So we're gonna kind of warm up our shoulders a little bit differently. I am gonna be using a couple exercise bands uh, and you can actually get those from Amazon. So very happy that you guys are here. Um, and feel free to join in. If you have any questions at all, just let me know. So I do have, you guys always know, for those that are just, uh, or joining me that you, you know, you've been following me for quite some time, you know that I am all about my pre-workout. And so I make this every single time. Um, so for those out there that have been following me that hear this numerous times, every single workout, I do apologize, but I don't want to leave anybody out and kind of like, I don't want to keep this a secret because it's just so good and it works so well. So with that being said, um, I roughly filled up about six ounces of water. I've got ashwagandha powder, which is a, it's an adaptogen herb. So it's good for numerous different things in the body. And you guys already know, I've talked about this numerous times. Um, it helps with insomnia. So you can take it before you go to bed, but it also helps with, um, like exercising. So it helps you with stamina and strength. Um, but it also helps as a, it's like kind of like a mood booster. So if you're, if you ever take ashwagandha, you're going to feel kind of like happier and just in a better mood. I, I can't really describe it, but it works really, really well. Um, another thing that ashwagandha does is basically just it else, well, a couple of different things here. So it helps with anxiety and depression as well. So it's just an all over good herb to take. It basically kicks in when your body needs it. Now it's not, there's no caffeine in this. Okay. I do drink coffee, so I don't need to add any type of caffeine or caffeine supplements. I do prefer to go as natural as possible. Um, and then the next thing that I put in here is beetroot powder. Beetroot powder helps boost nitric oxide in the body. And what that does is it basically helps widen those blood vessels and allows more oxygen into your body. So therefore making your workouts a little bit less, I don't want to say less strenuous, but it helps you to be able to handle them better because you're able to take in more oxygen. Um, and then another thing that I put in here is creatine powder, just tried and true. It's I mean, it's been studied for years. It helps with muscle growth, but it also helps with recovery. Um, so you can recover a little bit quicker. And then what else do I have in here? Oh, uh, yes. I have, um, it's a collagen superfoods and greens. And let's see here. Welcome rain or shine. Um, yes, you definitely need to try ashwagandha. So my thing is this, you only want to take a little bit at a time. Um, if you take too much, it can irritate your stomach, make you kind of nauseous. Um, so it is, even though it's a natural supplement, you do want to start out a little bit, you know, just a little bit at a time. So just take, I would say that you take maybe a quarter teaspoon. I take a half a teaspoon. So just take a quarter teaspoon. And uh, like I said, I put it in here. Um, and, and then just, you know, kind of see how you feel. So I haven't experienced anything bad, but I always recommend do your own research. Always try out with a little bit first. Um, and then uh, another tip also that I do want to mention is to always ask your doctor, like, especially if you're on any medication or anything like that, always consult with your doctor. Like I'm not a medical professional, so I always recommend talk to your doctor first. Very, very, very important. Um, and then what else do I put in here? I have, okay. So I have a, it's a, it's a blend. It's collagen superfoods and greens. It comes in a big tub and you can get this on. Um, I, I put all of the stuff that is in here 
in my Amazon store so you can check it out and see exactly what brand I use. Um, so, so yeah. And then uh, just one last thing. So the collagen superfoods and greens, not only does it have a lot of my vitamins and minerals, it has a little bit of protein because of the collagen, but it also is good. The collagen is also good for hair, skin, nails, but also healthy joints. So that's another plus of taking a collagen supplement. So I'm gonna do some stretches first before I drink this. And like I said, it's gonna be a little bit different today. So I hope you guys like this. Um, I, this is all about like healthy shoulders. Uh, one of the things that you will notice about me is that I am very, very careful with the type of exercises that I do. I work for longevity. So it's not just about like the short term effects of muscle building and the looks. It's also about being healthy and being smart and working out smart. Um, I am going to, you'll, you'll see basically when I do certain shoulder exercises, I will explain why I perform them at certain angles and not at others as um, you'll see a lot of maybe bodybuilders do a certain way. I tend to perform them a more uh, shoulder awareness slash rotator cuff healthy way. So, um, but yeah, I'm excited to show you this. So I am going to grab, I have a, oh, let's see here. I'm gonna grab maybe, what size is this? These are exercise bands, guys. So you can get these from Amazon. I have them, might have them in my carousel right now. Um, but I'm gonna grab a 30 right here. And we're just gonna warm up a little bit. Uh, these are great for warming up, guys. I am really, really impressed with the strength, but it really doesn't take much. So. Um, what you're gonna do with this one, what I like to do is shoulder pull-aparts, but before I do that, I'm just going to really kind of just like stretch this area and just bring this back up and around. This really just kind of like warms up your shoulders. It's like a mobility type movement. And if you have the flexibility, then you can bring them back like this, as long as that doesn't hurt. Um, again, we're just kind of like really warming up the shoulder area and making sure that we have everything, all the movements out of the way before we begin any type of exercise. So I'm gonna do this. And, and like I said, if you guys can't come all the way back like this, that's perfectly fine. You can just come up like this if you want to and just kind of start from there. All right, so now we're gonna do some pull-aparts, right? Um, that is just gonna be something simple. You don't have to grab a 30, okay? So you can use something more lightweight. And in fact, I recommend that. I recommend that you start out with something lighter first so that you can gauge um, what type of level of fitness you are in as far as in like strength and stuff like that. Never start with uh, a dangerous amount of weight until you know how much weight that you can handle. And again, shoulders, you know, Although we're not lifting like 180 pounds like we would with like a sumo deadlift when we're doing legs, um, your shoulders are definitely more fragile. So you wanna make sure that you preserve your shoulders, um, you know, and then try to avoid having to get any type of surgery when you get older. So we're just doing some pull-aparts here. This is just warming up the shoulders. Um, you do wanna keep the band, you wanna keep you wanna keep everything aligned. So you don't wanna bring it down too low and you don't wanna bring it up too high. You wanna keep it right there in the middle, everything lined up, okay? So your wrists should be straight and your wrists should be aligned with your shoulders. Same thing as your elbows, it shouldn't be down. Everything should be straight and nice and in line. And you're just gonna pull and just kind of warm up those shoulders. You might feel a little bit of burning, which is the muscle, um, but you shouldn't feel any type of weird pain. If you feel any pain, then make sure that you do not continue and do something a little different, whether that be picking, um, picking something, sorry, I think this hit my mic here. Um, whether that be picking a smaller weight or just doing another exercise in general. Okay, so now we're gonna rot, actually we're gonna come over here and rotate uh, or use the, uh, use this exercise here for rotator cuffs. Now, this right here, um, this is a 20. You don't have to use anything too heavy. In fact, when you're working or when you're warming up your rotator cuffs, when you're doing mobility movements for rotator cuffs, you do not wanna go super heavy. This is not a weight lifting exercise. 
although you will actually feel a little burn when you do this. Um, actually, you probably feel a lot of a burn, especially if you're a beginner. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. These are called um, external rotations, and then we're gonna do internal rotations. Um, you're gonna, I'm gonna have to turn around so you'll be able to see like both sides, what it looks like front and back. And another thing I do wanna explain too, it's very important how you line up your, um, your band. So you don't want it to go too low and you don't want it up too high. You want it right in line, um, kind of like mid where your belly button is. Um, so in other words, let's say you're bending your arm. Your arm is at a 90 degree angle. You want to make sure that this is right in line with that bend right there. So again, not up, not low, just right there. And you're gonna come out to about here where we have a little bit of tension, right? You want a little bit of tension. And a little trick that I did, guys, if you have a squat rack, um, then you can bring this up right here. So that's what I did. I brought this bar up right here so this way it would stay here. Um, okay, so we're just gonna do this. Like I said, um, this is gonna be a, pretty much a warm up exercise, but I am going to be doing three sets of these and you'll see me we're going to do one external rotation and then we're going to do one internal rotation with the other arm and then we'll switch and we'll do the other side and we'll do that for a total of um three sets okay um and i'll be checking here if you guys have any questions let me know um welcome uh you'll have to let me know if i'm pronouncing this correctly is it taquan um, Taquan Sadler, thank you so much. Hopefully you are following me. If not, hit the follow button. You can do that by tapping the screen if you're on your cell phone. Um, that's the muscle that hurts me. The, the rotator cuff area, yeah, that's a very, very common area for um, pain and stuff. So like I said, it's very important to make sure that you're warming up those muscles first. Um, and I pay a lot of attention to my shoulders a lot of different, you know, good, healthy, shoulder friendly exercises. So, okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and do the external rotation first, then I'm gonna switch and we're gonna do internal rotations. I will turn around and then I will do the same thing on both arms. Okay, and like I said, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do about 10 of these on each side. Now, one thing I do want to recommend too, and I'm going to grab my towel. Some of you might find that you are having a hard time. This area right here where you have like that dip from your, you know, you've got your hip and then it comes in with your waist. Sometimes people might find that a little hard and almost a little instable, like not very stable. So in order to help with that, what you're going to do is you're going to take a towel and you're gonna take that towel and you're gonna place it right where your um, elbow is, okay? And then just grab the weight. <sighs> Hi, Michael, where are the dogs? Cairo and Anaya will probably join us in a little bit. Um, pizza time and trivia night, yes. <laughs> yes, that was fun, by the way. By the way, I didn't get your email for that um, because you won, right? We were gonna give you a $25 gift card. Uh, I didn't get I didn't get an email from you, so I'm waiting. Um, but yeah, so we're, I mean, we'll do more giveaways and stuff like that. We're you know we do like random stuff on here, so it'll be fun. Um, all right, so again, re external rotations. We're gonna go ahead and do ten of these, and then I'll show you the other ones. So, and it shouldn't be like it should it should be challenging, but it shouldn't be something that hurts you. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You should not feel any pain with this. You can go lower. So if this is something that bothers you, then just switch. All right, and now we're gonna do the internal rotations with the other arm, since I'm facing you guys. Um, I did, but it sa said address not found. I got emails from everybody else. I don't know what happened. Um, it's, so look on the screen. I will have my moderator put um, on the screen, it's going to show on there. It's going to be team at Christina Nietzsche.com. That is my email. That's where you can reach me. Um, so try it again. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> Tell it. My moderator is saying to Quan to, um, hit the follow button. Okay. All right, here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Okay, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, you're following. Okay, good, good. Um, okay, so Taquan says, um, wow, we can learn great things and win some stuff. Why didn't I watch before? I don't know. I don't know why you didn't. Um, so Michael, you said you put in the wrong um, address. Yeah, definitely make sure, there it is right there on the screen, um, team at christinanichi.com, write it down, take a snapshot, whatever you need to do um, to make sure that everything, I know my name can be kind of a little bit confusing, um, it is a mouthful to say, so um, yeah, so if you have any problems, just let me know, but that's it right there. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna do the same thing, external rotations on the opposite side. Now you guys can see a back view to see what this looks like. It's just a pulling movement, right? You don't want to lift up like this. You want to keep that elbow, and that's why this towel helps. You're going to keep that elbow just kind of like locked into your side as you pull. And then we're going to do, whoops, we're going to put the towel on the other side and do those internal rotations. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, this is not a weightlifting movement, although it's going to work your um your shoulders a bit it's not going to be something that is like for like strength training and gains and all that fun stuff so um nice tattoo um thank you um you're gonna email me on monday okay all right so yeah so i'm gonna rest for just a second here um yeah so my like my tattoo took like two years it's it was so crazy and but the truth is honestly I took like a year close to a year of rest off um, just because it's been like so strenuous and here comes the dogs I know you guys want to see the dogs um, there's Cairo and Anaya we'll see how crazy he is sometimes he's like so full of energy but I'm not gonna pay him any attention um, so he likes to sometimes just like come up right in front of the camera he's so crazy um, uh, 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 there we go. He's acting a little loony. I just, I'm just going to ignore him because you just don't know. He's like so full of energy. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to grab this and we're going to do the same thing on this side. He's crazy. He is really crazy. You can't, you can't talk to him too much because he'll try to do crazy things like steal my towel. Oh my God. Okay, let's go guys, let's go. He's way too excited. Sorry guys, I'll bring him back out. I know you guys love Cairo, but he, he just, I don't know what it is. He's still like very much a puppy, so. But I mean, he gives us some comic relief on the show, you know. Um, okay, so back to, <laughs> yes, yeah, they're a little crazy. Uh, Anaya is not really crazy, but Cairo, sometimes like his hormones go really crazy. I'll open the door again and I'll let him in in a little bit, but okay. So now again, we're just going to do, like I said, this is, uh, this is like two more sets. Um, and then we'll move on and we'll get into the real shoulder work. So the first thing I have lined up, and just so, I just wanna explain myself because you'll see me looking off to the side of there. I'm not weird and spacey and just like looking off into space. Um, I actually have a whiteboard that is right over there behind the camera, like, like to the side of it. So that's where I have everything written down, um, all my exercises and stuff, so I don't leave anything out. So just, just in case you guys are wondering, I'm not losing it. I'm not looking off into space anywhere. All right. So 10 of these, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You'll notice that the internal rotations are going to be a little bit easier to perform. You might be able to go up a little bit more in weight in those, and that's perfectly fine. I'm going to knock the last set out. Um, actually, the last side, I should say. I have one, I believe I have one more set on that. Okay, and then, you know what? I think we've done enough of these. I'm okay with doing two sets of this. But just FYI, I would do three, if, especially if you guys are new into weightlifting. Um, you do wanna make sure that everything is properly warmed up and 
working well. So thankfully I haven't had any type of like weird, um, I haven't had any surgery or anything like that on my shoulders or any muscle groups. Like I, I have been very, very fortunate to not have had any injuries, um, from lifting and, you know, and that's actually before the days that I used to stretch. Um, now I make sure that I stretch and I do mobility movements all of the time. I do recommend that you definitely do that for sure. Um, so Taquan says, beautiful dogs. Thank you so much. I promise I will let them back in, but like they're like, I don't know what it is. Cairo just like initially when his initial thing is I let him in every single time, every single live. And the first time I let him in, he goes like really crazy and he gets way too excited. So I'll let him back in again, but I want to make sure I'm not distracted so that I can do these workouts for you guys. So, okay. So what do I have lined up here? Um, we've done the external and internal rotations. We're going to do, um, seated front shoulder raises. Now guys, um, one of the things that you'll see me do is a lot of with shoulders. I like to sit down. And the reason why I like to do them seated is because it takes away from any momentum when you're standing. So when you're standing, like, let's say for instance, it's, you can limit your, uh, like your any type of momentum, you can limit it, but when you're standing, you can't fully like not use any momentum. You're naturally going to be swinging and you're naturally going to be using some sort of muscle, no matter what your stance is, there's some sort of movement, which is why you'll notice using the same exact weight, but doing it seated, it's always going to be harder. So try it out guys. If you're normally like one of those, you know, standing shoulder raise exercise guys or girls, whatever, try it seated. And I'm, I'm telling you, it's, you're going to definitely see a difference. Now I do have to grab some gloves. Um, one of the things that I try to avoid are the stupid, like, uh, calluses, you know, on your hands. I mean, unfortunately you can't like fully you know, avoid that, especially if you've been lifting for some years, but I mean, these help somewhat. So, uh, okay. So no questions guys. Let me just check and make sure I'm answering all these questions here. Don't see any questions. Um, okay, good. All right. And like I said, guys, definitely, if you have questions, ask, it's okay. No question. You know, I know maybe some of you maybe think that, you know, the question might sound stupid or whatever, but I would rather you guys know, um, you know, what you're doing or have the question answered versus kind of just like wondering because you feel kind of silly asking the question. Uh, okay. So seated front shoulder raises. Now I'm going to do them very light. You'll notice your front, your, your front delts. Okay. So they're going to be a little bit more sensitive. You have to be very careful with them because it's a very small muscle. So you don't need a lot of weight. Um, in fact, what I recommend is instead of going up in weight first, when you think you're ready to move up in weight, try a slower tempo. I'm telling you guys it is killer. So if like, let's say for instance, tens, right? I'm going to use tens. And so when you, when you lift, you know, you're going to see, oh, well, you know, this is easy. You know, if you're doing them like a, just like a regular standard tempo, but if you slow them down, right, I'm talking like slow and controlled up and then slow and controlled down. It's going to be a lot harder. In fact, you might feel like you're not even able to complete the same amount of reps. So try it out before you go up and wait, especially when you're dealing with a smaller, um, muscle group. Okay. So we'll take these. And like I said, I'm going to perform them seated. And you know what I forgot to take guys. See, I'm so distracted because you guys are just so amazing. And I like interacting with you guys. I forgot to take my pre-workout that I make. So I'm going to grab that and drink that first. Um, but let me know guys questions. I'm I have it. So I have, I have a couple different screens here. I've got a screen here to make sure that I'm like in line where I can see all your comments. And then I've got my phone over here. So this way, like when I'm performing all the exercises, I can make sure that I'm getting back to you guys in a timely manner. <laughs> so no questions. Okay. All right. And I think you guys all know what I've, uh, what I put in here. I explained at the very beginning of 
every single live. Um, so forgive me guys if I sound, for those that have been with me and like hanging out every single live, if I sound like a broken record and I repeat myself, it's just because I want all of the new people to know like all of the good stuff that I put in here. So if you missed it, my lives are, you can all watch them again. So it's in the very beginning. I talk about what exactly is in here and you can get them on my Amazon store. Uh, all of the ingredients that I put in here, pretty amazing. So it's been working out so far and I'm, I, and I think I've mentioned this before. So I am very sensitive to certain things. So I can't, I have to be very careful with what I put in my body. I have also have to be very careful with the type of foods that I eat. Um, one of the reasons why I eat very healthy is because of migraines. I'm very susceptible to migraines. Um, and so I have to be super, super careful. Um, but I, I mean, I think everybody should be very picky with what they put in their bodies. I think it's very important that you're, you know, putting good things in your body. So, okay. So yes, just a reminder, if you guys are on your cell phones, um, and you don't know how to follow, all you have to do is just tap the screen and then it'll open up a little option for that'll say like follow and then you can hit the follow button. So um, I know there was some confusion on that. Some of you were, couldn't figure out how to do that. So I tested it out and that's how you do it. Okay. So this stuff doesn't take very long to kick in. It actually, um, so you don't need to like like weight like you normally would. Um, in fact, I find that I have much better results if I take it like when I'm right about to work out, like literally, and then, um, you know, then I, I can actually feel the effects like building up gradually. And like I said, it's not like caffeine. So you're not going to feel, you're not going to feel like those synthetic crappy pre-workouts that are filled with chemical ingredients. You're not going to feel like tingling or any weird stuff like that. You're just going to feel amazing and you're going to feel positive and you're going to feel happy and you're going to feel energetic. So yes. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do these front shoulder raises. Now, what you wanna do is um, when you're on a bench, um, make sure that you're not out with your legs like this. You wanna keep them close in. And the reason being is because you wanna make sure that you have enough room. You don't wanna bring these out to the sides in order to bring them around your legs. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna do these two seconds up and then should we do two seconds up, two seconds down? All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna try it, right? Okay. So I'm gonna do 10, 10 to 12 of these maybe. All right. Two, bring them up to your eyes. Three. Four. Almost like a pause at the top, but not really, but you just kind of want to give it a little bit of a pause before you bring them down. I think this is six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. and 10. Now, one thing you'll see with me, I am not one of those girls on the internet that seems to make, like, seems to have like the beauty, like a beautiful smiling lifting face, like nothing is hard, like it's not challenging. Like I might make some crazy faces when I lift and you know what? I'm okay with that because it's real. This is a real workout. This is my workout and I am struggling at times. So I like to share that with you guys. I think it's very, very important to see it's, it's to me, it's like too fake if you see somebody and they're just not, they're not getting tired. They're not out of breath. I mean, like, you know, you guys have seen me before. Like I, I make, sometimes I make some crazy faces. Sometimes I'm so out of breath that I can't talk right after. 
But you know what? I'm getting an amazing workout and I get to share it with you guys. So, all right. Um, questions, no questions? Okay, I'm gonna rest for a minute. I'm only gonna rest for, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna rest for like maybe 30 seconds to, oh, I don't know, 45 seconds, somewhere around there. I don't, with, with shoulders, I like to keep it um, not as, like my rest time, I try to keep it a little bit shorter than like I would do with legs uh, because it's a little less strenuous. And, and again, it depends on the exercise. When I show you guys my um, seesaw presses, those are like crazy hard and they wipe me out. So I'm probably gonna need to take a little bit more than 30 seconds on that, so. Okay, here we go. Again, we have uh, four sets of these. I wrote down four sets. So I'm gonna have to do four sets. One. Two, three, four, five, six. This is getting very hard. I'm struggling here. Seven. Eight. Two more. That was nine. Okay, 10. Okay. Resting, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, we'll see. Uh, all right. So I just wanna highlight something for you guys. I highlighted in my carousel the bands that I have. So one thing that I wanna let you guys know is that um, if you cannot, it's okay if you can't afford to get a squat rack right away. You know, when I started building my gym, I started with bands. I started with that set of bands that I highlighted in my carousel. Um, and I started with them because they're cheap. They're, it, it's a great way to get a workout and you can work your entire body with resistance bands. And I, you know, I can't stress this enough. Like, um, so hi Mike, uh, what does that even mean? Um, Anyway, uh, if you're not following me, Mike, hit the follow button. This way you can check out all of my workouts and stuff like that. Um, okay, so what I wanna mention is that when you are just starting out, it's okay to just start with um, bands. In fact, this is crazy. So when the, and I, I've mentioned this before, so forgive me guys that have been always following me. Um, if you, like during the pandemic, right? Uh, for those of you that weren't able to get into the gym, just like I, I was going to a commercial gym, um, I, you know, I, I couldn't afford to just go out and buy all of this stuff right away. Like this took some time to build up. So what I did was I started with bands and I was able to progress. Yes, guys, I was able to progress and gain strength just by I mean, just using bands. So to Quan says, um, that's tough. That slight hold at the top is tough. Yes, it definitely is tough and it definitely makes a huge difference. And you know what? I'm getting distracted here. Let me go ahead and begin. Um, so there's a number. Okay, I'm not gonna read that whole long number that just followed me, but thank you for the follow and welcome to the Amazon family here. Um, uh, it... Yeah, I'm not gonna say that whole number, but welcome. Happy to have you. <laughs> so I do workouts and stuff like that. Lately, I've been doing a lot of workouts. We do giveaways throughout the week, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, they're kind of more random, so we, you know, we pick days that we're gonna do that. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and get this done, and then we'll go, go from there. I have, um, I'm gonna do 10 of these, so I have two more sets, okay, so slow. So one, two, Three, four, 
no need to go super heavy on this, guys. I'm telling you, it's hard when you go slower. Five. I don't know if I said five twice. Oh, well, I don't care. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. All right, I'm not gonna get distracted, guys. I'm gonna rest for roughly 30 to 45 seconds. Um, see if you guys have any questions. Do you guys have any questions so far on what I'm doing? Do you have any questions about the equipment that I'm using? Um, let me know. So after we do shoulders, I've got a little bit of tricep work. Um, everything, like I said, everything's going to be done in this area right here. It's, uh, it's actually all dumb. Well, I have dumbbells and then I have pulley, a pulley system. Um, <laughs> so the pulley system I did get, you can get it from Spud Inc. Amazon. Amazon has uh, Spud Inc. has Amazon, which is great. Um, do I have that in my, I'm trying to see if I have that in here. If not, you can go to my Amazon store and check it out. So, um, and I'm actually waiting on another color. I want to show you guys of, uh, this yoga mat right here. So, ah, thank you. Thank you. So yes, on, on the chat, you'll see that's the link of where you can get the spud ink. Really awesome pulley setup. Like I have, I uh, know I have a couple of different, um, like a couple of different pulleys. I actually have two here, uh, two here, which creates that, that low pulley action going on. And then I have another one that just goes straight across for when I want to do like pull downs or, you know, things like that, assisted pull-ups, uh, what have you. So, okay. So let's go ahead and get that other set out of the way. This is our last set. Thank God, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really hate working front, uh, my, my front delts. It is not my strong point, um, but I know that it has to be done. So I really like working my um, lateral and rear, but I know it's a full package. And so you have to work all of them, uh, which is fine. It's fine. Um, okay, here we go. One, two, three, Four. Rosalinda's here. Hi, Rosalinda. Six. Oh my God, was that six? I got distracted. I'm so happy Rosalinda's here. Oh well. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Hold on, Taquan. I see your question. Nine. I'm dying. I'm dying. <sighs> Okay, here we go, 10, 10. Okay, dropping the weights. All right, question, let's see here. What's, uh, what are some good supplements I could take for my sweet cravings? So, not supplements. Um, if you're craving sweet, I mean, there's a couple things you could do. So. At night, well, I don't know about you, but like at night, it depends though. Or do you want chocolate? Do you want vanilla? Um, what do you want? Let me know. Um, let me know what you want, uh, and and I'll and I'll see if I can help you out. Um, there's a couple things that you can do though. So um, happy Thursday to you, Rosalinda. What time Saturday? Uh, moderator, can you answer that? Yes, uh, seven or eight p.m. on Saturday. Um, so, <laughs> oh, so Rosalind said, I so love your army uh, print leggings. Yeah, these are, um, I just got these. Um, I just got them the other day. So I figured I'd wear them on the live. Um, oh, Ricky, hi, Ricky, welcome. Um, let me, you know what, let me grab my phone because I think I can read you guys better. 
I think I can read this better. So bite-sized Miley ways helps my sweet cravings. Oh, so you're so maybe Taquan can use that. Um, I've never heard of those before. So uh, okay, and then consumer nine says hello from Tennessee. I stumbled on your video. Thanks, you're beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Hit the follow button. Follow me, um, consumer nine nine nine. Uh, I do like workout videos and stuff. I you know I, I love to interact with you guys. So join the family. I'd be happy to have you here. Um, cookies and brownies. Oh, you're a brownie lover, huh? Okay. So chocolate then chocolate. I'm thinking chocolate. Um, one of the things you could do is you could actually take like, uh, you could get like a chocolate whey protein powder, um, something without all the crap in it. Right. And you could mix it. You could actually mix it with yogurt and sweeten it a little bit more and even put in, they have sugar free chocolate chips and you can freeze it and eat it like ice cream. Yeah, I'm serious. Try it out. Um, does that sound like something you would like to Kwan? Let me know. Um, because like that's super easy to do. Uh, Milky Ways. Well, Ricky, Milky Ways are good, but not, they're not healthy. <laughs> um, and, uh, consumer 999, uh, again, thanks for the follow. I really appreciate that. Happy that you're here. Um, Ricky said, my typing is lacking today. I think, um, my wireless keyboard is needing a new, new batteries. Yeah, that's definitely possible. Um, that happens like with mine occasionally. Then I have to like plug it up to charge. Um, and Rosalinda says, I have my tie dye leggings with pink tank. That's right, Rosalinda. Cause I remembered pink is your favorite color. Um, all right. So we're going to, we're going to do the next exercise guys. Um, I feel like it's so easy for me to talk with you guys and just like totally forego the workout and just have like conversations. Is, you guys are like seriously so much fun. I love you guys so much. Um, all right. So, oh, Ricky. Yes, I did. I had my cheat meal yesterday. Um, take a guess on what I had. Tell me what you think I had. And then I'm going to, while you're thinking, I'm going to grab the next stuff that I need for the next shoulder exercise. And I'm going to be dreading this guys, but <laughs> so no, not barbecue and slaw. Um, oh, thank you, Rosalinda. That's super sweet. <laughs> uh, not baked beans. Um, consumer 999 pasta is actually my, one of my, uh, weaknesses, but I didn't have it this time. So I didn't, ha didn't have it this time. Um, no spaghetti, Rosalinda, but yes, Ricky, I had a cheeseburger. So you mentioned it the other day and I was like, now I was like, now I'm craving cheeseburgers. So yeah, I had a cheeseburger and some fries and it was like, it was so good. I even had a chocolate chip cookie, a huge chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, it was, it was really good. I'm, I'm feeling really good right now. Um, so, uh, to Quan says, I need to get off of the sweets until I can't, can control it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and you can have like sugar free stuff, you know what I mean? So, you know, you, there's, there's different things that you can do to help combat that. Um, and <laughs> Ricky said, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, let's see here. Yes. Consumer 999 says yum. It was so good. Uh, cheeseburger is one of uh, Ricky says my cheeseburger is one of my favorite things. Let me get my phone here. I feel like I'm having to like struggle here to see, and I want to keep up with you guys. Um, so Ros Rosalind said, yes, cheeseburger. Love it. I hope you enjoyed it. I probably enjoyed it too much. Like I ate the whole thing, the whole thing. I didn't finish my fries. I ate the cookie first. And that's my secret guys. If you want to know, um, always have your dessert first when you're having a cheat meal, this way you eat it all and then move on to the actual meal. Um, all right. So Ricky says cheeseburgers at the top of my favorite things to eat. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Taquan says love triple meat burgers. So I haven't ever had a triple meat burger, but I'm sure it, I mean, I'm sure they're amazing. Um, what do you recommend for someone sassy? Welcome sassy. Um, sassy hit the follow button, follow me. And this way, like I discuss all these things all the time. Like I love 
interacting with you guys. We do a lot of health and fitness stuff. So hit that follow button so that you don't miss out on any of my stuff. Um, so what do I recommend for someone who's just starting to work out and lose weight for energy? Okay. So are you a coffee drinker? Sassy, let me know. Um, cookie, you, <laughs> Rosalinda says cookie, lo, your first tip. <laughs> yes. Yes. Eat the cookie first. Um, okay. So coffee is my, my, I drink coffee before a workout, right? About, uh, it's actually studies have shown if you drink it an hour before a workout, it, it helps you. If you drink it sooner, it, it's, you need some time for it to kind of go through your system. So coffee, um, one hour at, you know, one hour, uh, before, before your workout. Right. And then I also take ashwagandha where you here at the beginning of my workout, uh, where I kind of mentioned my, my homemade pre-workout, let me know. I'm going to grab the next set here and then I'm going to answer your question when we're done. Um, okay. So I'm going to do a little drop set guys, because I'm really looking at building up my shoulders even more. And these are heart exercise. So, um, uh, Julian's here. Hi, Julian. <laughs> yes. And Julian, we are still waiting on the Lady Gaga cookies. Um, they were backward. So apparently we ordered them in the midst of the whole crazy Texas storm. Okay. And, uh, I don't know what happened, but it like got everything delayed. And so we're still, it says they're kind of like in limbo. So I contacted the seller cause I was like, I want to try, everybody's talking about the Lady Gaga cookies and I want to freaking try the cookies. So anyway, I'm still waiting. Um, I know it's crazy, right? So, um, <laughs> yes. So that's my status. I, that's so funny. I, I answered your question, Julian, before you even mentioned the Lady Gaga cookies, because I just knew. Um, all right. And Taguan says, good. I ate three cookies today. So I'm straight. What? Wait a minute. Taquan, you ate three cookies today. I thought you were trying to be good and not eat sweets. Uh, all right, Sassy, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you joining the family here. Um, okay, next exercise, guys. I'm so sidetracked with this conversation here. Um, and by the way, the ashwagandha that I had did now, Sassy, let me know. Did you hear about my pre-workout? that I take. I don't want to leave you out and I, I'll mention it again if I have to, cause I, I don't want you to not know what it is. Um, uh, Ricky, you gotta go. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for popping in. Um, hopefully I'll see you, uh, tomorrow then I'm on live tomorrow at four. So, uh, enjoy your dinner. And, uh, Michael, I just got it from outside water gun fight. Wow. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. So, um, that's all you have to Quan is the, I don't know. I don't know. Right. Yeah. What do you, what are you doing over there? What are you doing? Um, okay. Bye. Thank you, Ricky. You have a good one too. <laughs> all right. We all love Ricky. He's a regular here and he is also a singer and he plays the piano and he has a YouTube channel. I was really impressed. Um, okay. We're doing the exercise that I hate. And this one is going to be, uh, seated. What is it? Yeah. Seesaw press. So I'm going to be doing a drop set, which means I need my, so your trainee on live. Oh yes. Yes. Are you doing Michael? Are you doing the workouts with me? Okay. Here we go. The most hated shoulder exercise. I don't love this guys. I really don't. I might have, I, I might have been delaying this on purpose. I might have. Okay. You don't have to go as heavy as this. You can go lighter. So I'm going to try to do 10 on each side. Okay. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Okay. Drop the weights. I think I picked too light. I did. We're going to do 15s and just kind of knock it out. 
Who's leaving me? Michael, you're leaving? Okay, well, hopefully I'll see you next live then. Okay. Oh, Taquan says, gotta go, Miss Nietzsche. Um, gotta go burn these cookies off. Love the show. I'll tune in more. Thank you so much for joining. And you said you were already following, so thank you so much for that. Um, enjoy your workout, and uh, hopefully I'll see you. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Um, so, okay, Michael said, be right back. Um, will I get notifications when you are live? So... I tested that out on like another, like, um, cause my husband has an account. And so I did get notifications, but then I heard there was an error with Amazon or something like that at some point. So I don't know. <laughs> Your chest is red. Yes, because it's strenuous. Because I'm like, anytime I'm like, because I'm pale guys, I'm really light. And so when I work out, I get red. Um, it's just, it is what it is. Although for some reason, I look redder on the screen right here that I'm looking at versus uh, like real life, which is really weird. But yeah, I, that's like whenever I run or whatever, I get real red right here. Um, okay, so um, you're a girl, why are you working out? Wait, is that a joke? <laughs> is that a joke? <laughs> um, you're not one of those people, are you? Uh, welcome, by the way. Uh, hold on a second. Let me grab my phone again. <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, yes, it is a joke. Okay, good, good. Um, so, De is it Daisha or Dasha? Um, let me know. Welcome. Uh, make sure you hit follow because this way you won't miss out on any of my workouts. I do workouts. I do giveaways. We keep it fun here. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Jacob says, welcome, by the way, Jacob, have you followed yet? Hit the follow button. If you're on your cell phone, just tap the screen and you'll get like a, a little thing that allows you to click follow. Um, Alicia's here. Hi, Alicia. I'm actually training Alicia. She's one of my clients. Thank you so much. I'm like, I'm trying to, I got to keep up with the live. So it's like, now I got to get new clothes because I don't be just be wearing the same thing all over again. And everybody apparently pays attention. So um, uh, one time you said it, um, okay. All right. And, uh, okay. Daisha, Daisha, Daisha. That's right. Right. Um, so Glenn, uh, uh, actually it's Jacob Glenn. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome. Happy to have you here. Um, all right. Let's see here. Show the, let's see here. Portable power, yeah, that's actually very good, guys. So you wanna know how much protein I use? Here's the thing, I'm gonna let you know, um, but you're gonna have to give me a minute here. I'm trying to find something, here we go. Um, okay, so I'll let you know. Protein, I use, uh, thank you, Daisha. I'm so happy, thank you for confirming that. Um, okay, so how much, Jacob wants to know how much protein I use. I, my protein is roughly 35% of my calorie intake, okay? So that's how much protein I use. It varies depending on my goal. Um, I don't go by grams, I just go by percentage. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that answers your question. Um, but yeah, I do eat a lot of protein. Um, that helps with muscle building, it's definitely very important. So let me go ahead and we're gonna do this next set. These are seesaw presses. Okay, it's gonna turn into a drop set because we're picking up lower weights and going into without resting. Okay, 10 and 10, so 10 with one and then dropped into 10 with another one. Okay, so we're gonna rest for a minute. Questions, guys, um, I'm gonna be better at answering questions while I'm resting. 
I'm taking a little bit more of a rest because I just did a superset. And supersets are a little bit more strenuous on the body um, because you're literally like doing pretty much another set, um, even if it's just that lighter weight with no rest. So a little bit more rest this time, maybe a minute, a minute and a half. I'm not counting per se, I'm just kind of like estimating pretty much. So, okay, so no questions. Um, so after this, guys, I have seated lateral raises. I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, there's a healthy way to do lateral raises that will kind of like basically help out um, with your uh, kind of like keep your shoulders healthy. Um, Lorenzo, hi. Good. There. I'm glad that you're here. You just got back from a 4K jog. Wow. Yes, yes. Um, thanks for the email, by the way. I did get the email. Um, yeah, the, anytime, like, I love communicating and stuff like that. So anytime you want to know anything about, like, me going live, yeah, just do what you did. Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so today we're doing shoulders and triceps. Um, yes, and there's my email right there. By the way, guys, I'm very excited because... My website will be done in a, roughly eight weeks, maybe before. And this is where you can pick programs. And uh, you know, so if you if you don't want to, if you don't want me for some reason to create a custom workout for you, then you can pick one of the programs. Um, I train men and women. So just in case you know you guys out there are wondering, um, yes, I do train men as well. Um, okay. So again, we're doing a drop set. This is the last drop set that we're gonna do. And I'm gonna move on to the lateral raises after this. Um, Alicia, I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to be great. Yes, I'm very excited about it. I gotta take some uh, pictures for the website tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so I'm definitely excited. A lot of work, but it's gonna be worth it. So, um, Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for saying that. I really appreciate that. Um, again, I, I think it's just all about like knowledge. I think one of the things that's really important is to, um, you know, is, is to give people knowledge. And, and, and so this way they're not going to be on their own, just not knowing what to do. Um, eventually is the goal is to learn and to be able to do it on your own. Uh, Lorenzo says all the best with the workout development. Looking forward to the launch. Thank you so much. Um, and Jacob says, how long do you work out? So it depends on my lives. I go a little bit longer because I'm explaining things, but I will say that it's about one to two hours per day. Um, so, I mean, that's just me. No, uh, not everybody has to work out that long. It, it just depends on your goals. So, all right, let's get this last one done. Okay, dropping down to 15s now. <sighs> okay, that was hard. So I, good, good luck, I'll watch these more. Thank you, Jacob, and uh, thanks, um, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know. You also, also, I like the hair. Thank you, my crazy hair. And sometimes it's out of control. Okay, so. Next, we're gonna do um, the seated lateral raises. Okay, so I'm gonna do these. Uh, one is going to be a little bit heavier, so I'm gonna do, I might do drop sets with these. I'm gonna think I'm gonna do, I know what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I am going to do what's called a pyramid set. And I really, you know, I'm trying to like step things up and take things to the next level. So a pyramid set is going to be, it's going to really, really help with, it helps with strength and I'll tell you why in a second. It helps with strength and it also helps with definition. A pyramid set, um, 
when you're looking at making maybe your set a little bit more challenging, but uh, it's a mixture. So you're using, basically I'm gonna do a set of four. So I'm gonna do four at a total of 15 reps at a lighter weight, right? And then I'm gonna increase the weight. I'm gonna do another set of 10 at, or I'm sorry, another set of 12 at, um, a little, like I said, a little lighter weight. I'm gonna go up in weight again. The third set, I'm going to um, do 10, right? 10 reps. And then I'll increase the rep, I mean, I'm sorry, increase the weight again, and I will do a total of eight reps. So, um, yeah, so it's gonna be really challenging, but um, let me see here, let me make sure. I think I'm gonna need to go, I'm gonna go very lightweight for my, um, for my first, rep of 15, um, but I'm gonna go slow and controlled. I'm gonna use fives because I don't have five pound dumbbells, so I'm gonna use five pound plates, and I do need to take that off of here, actually. So, you guys will get to see this pulley setup. I'm gonna use this for some exercises for, um, uh, what do you call it, for um, triceps. So, the first thing that I wanna tell you guys is, uh, you you want to make sure that when you're doing these, there's a couple different things you'll hear people tell you, right? What you don't want to do is things that are unhealthy for your shoulders. So everybody, a lot of people are going to tell you, and even trainers, some trainers. Uh, but you know what? I feel like it's all like an old school mentality where... Um, I think the dogs are coming again, by the way. Uh, so I think it's like an old school mentality where, I mean, it's just something that's taught for years and years and it's just kind of like a broken record to keep, they keep doing it over and over again. So one thing that you'll hear say is you, you turn like you're pouring milk when you do your lateral raises. This turns your shoulder cuffs, your shoulders at an unhealthy angle um, for your rotator cuffs. It's an unnatural movement. What do we do when we're doing, like we don't walk around like this or we don't lift things like this, right? So you wouldn't, you, we're, not, we're not built for that angle. Um, so that's gonna actually, a lot of people, you'll see a lot of people complain of shoulder pain. Eventually, the next thing you know, they have to have surgery for rotator cuffs. I mean, like it, it's just, it just goes downhill. And so in order to help preserve your shoulders and help maybe minimize and hopefully, you know, um, not uh, to be able to prevent, uh, you know, any type of injury, what you do is you keep your thumbs up, okay? So your thumbs don't go down, they go up because you want your, held, your shoulders at a healthy angle. In order to help offset that now tilted angle, you want to lean forward slightly, okay? So therefore, instead of like more targeting your rear back here, if you lean forward slightly, look at that. See that, you can see, I'm gonna show you the front. You can see this, and I'll, I'll show you one thing, which is really amazing. So if you lift like this, right, don't keep your elbows down. Your elbows, want you wanna have the arms, you wanna have the things, your, <laughs> I can't think here, I'm like, what are these? You wanna have your um, thumbs <laughs> pointed up, and you wanna have like your, you wanna bring your shoulders up without bringing it down like this. So keep them up like this. But keep your shoulder, but keep your keep those elbows up, right? Elbows up. And you'll see when you do this and you go like this, right? With those arm with those el with those um thumbs. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I can't even speak. I can't these are my thumbs. I mean I deal with them every day. I don't know what my problem is. Thumbs. You keep your thumbs up, right? And you have your shoulders like this, and you can automatically feel a difference when you go like this, when you pick them up like that, right? You're gonna feel, you can actually feel that without any weights, which is crazy. So we're going to keep that same angle and we're gonna do these pyramid sets. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Try it out. I wanna know, has it worked for you? Do you feel the difference? Let me know. Guaranteed you will definitely feel a huge difference if you do that angle. Um, Julian says, I keep looking at the thing in front of the red flag, looks like a robot in front of the red flag. Are you talking about my, um, which, so are you talking about, I have a, I have a scale right here, an old school scale? Is that what you're referring to? Um, head, arms, and legs, and everything. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, well, are you, okay. <laughs> you're probably referring to the scale right here, right? I'm assuming you're referring to the scale or are you referring to the clock right there? There's a, there's a Garfield clock, but I'm think, I think you're talking about the scale. That's like an old school scale, like a weighing scale from a, like, yeah, it's, it's really old. Um, all right. So let me get into the exercise here. Okay. So here we go. We're using plates. Now, one thing when you're using plates, let's say you're, you don't have dumbbells, keep your wrists straight. Don't bring them up. Don't bring them down. Keep them straight. Um, we're going to keep our, like I said, the L, the, uh, <laughs> the thumbs, we're going to keep the thumbs up. Um, green flag. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a scale. Um, or are you referring to the stand with the weights, with the, with the attachments? Um, <laughs> Okay, here we go. So see how you almost, and you can look in the mirror if you want to, but make sure like a slight tilt and then you're literally bringing your elbows up. I'm not even counting now. Let's just try, let's just do, we're on 10, right? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Then we're going to drop the weights. We're going to pick up, um, heavier. So I'm going to go with tens and then I'm going to do, um, that's going to be really hard to do for four sets. We might have to change that a little bit. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do, um, 10. I think I'm going to switch to, yeah, we just did 15. I'm going to switch to a total of 10 and then we'll do, um, eights, uh, not eights, but um, I'll do, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm speaking to myself here. You guys think I'm like going crazy, I know. Um, Alicia says, I'm, I'm over here mimicking you. Oh, oh, good, good. Um, yeah, it, it's a huge, it makes a huge difference in the lateral raises. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my tens and I'm gonna skip over the twelves um, and I'm gonna go straight to 10 reps, okay? Um, and the reason being is because I can't keep increasing and increasing with um, lateral raises because my shoulders max can lift 15. So yeah, so that's, that's not going to work. Um, so we might have to stick with this for a couple of them, but okay, here we go. It works very, it works very well with back, um, and other types, type of exercises that you can lift heavier with, but I want to try, I wanted to try them for shoulders to see. So, okay, here we go. Um, elbows. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> thumbs, Somebody call for help. Um, okay. So Joy Martino, thank you so much for following and welcome to the Amazon family. Happy to have you here. Uh, we do workouts and all the fun stuff here, uh, giveaways. So glad you are here. Here we go. Slight forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm going to do 12, 11, 12. Okay. Resting. And then we'll do, oh, let's see here. We are going to do eight. I'm going to do eight with do I want to do eight? I don't think I can do, I really don't think I can do twenties. That's pretty hard to do for um, lateral races, at least for me, at least for me. So I think what I'm going to do to counter, to like offset that a little bit is what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just something a little bit different. So I'm going to do eight sets of the 15, but then I'm going to pick the tens back up and I'm just going to do like a drop set and just knock them out and just do as many as I can. So that's what I'm going to do just a little bit of something different. Okay. So after this, we have, um, literally just two more shoulder exercises and we're going to knock them out real quick. Then we've got just three exercises for, um, triceps. One of them is actually a superset, um, with two exercises combined. So I'm going to show you guys all of the moves. So definitely stick around. Um, Okay, 
And keep in mind, guys, obviously your, your time for resting is going to be a little bit different if you're doing this on your own without like talking and all that fun stuff. So, okay, here we go. This one's gonna be a little harder. I'm probably gonna use a little bit more of a bend in my arm just because I'm trying to preserve my biceps. You can put a little tension on your uh, biceps by you know lifting heavy and keeping your arms really, really straight. In fact, it's gonna be pretty much impossible when you're lifting heavier weights. So you do wanna have a little bit of a bend there going on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop it and we're gonna knock out as many as we can with the tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh, I'm gonna do another one. I don't wanna stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That was good. That was really good. I can definitely feel like I feel a huge pump in my shoulders right now. I feel very, a lot, a lot of burning. Um, okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is the, uh, we're going to work on rear delts right now. I just have two exercises for rear delts guys. Um, the first one is going to be on the bench and I'm going to show you a little trick on how you can really target. Um, yes, Alicia, what's your question? Let me know what your question is. I'm just gonna set up here while waiting on your question. Um, should you always feel a burn? Okay, you should definitely feel, um, not, I wouldn't necessarily say a burn, but, you do want to get to a point where you're struggling to like, you, you want to utilize all your strength to do your last set. If you can, if you can do more and force yourself to do more, you should, you're, you're going to feel something. Like if you're really, really pushing yourself, you should feel something. Um, so, you know, look at it as, and I think I've mentioned this before, if someone can pay you a thousand dollars per extra rep, can you do more? Um, so, Keep that in mind. Um, you're, you're gonna, I mean, you're definitely, you should feel something. You should feel something for sure. Um, so again, it's just a matter of really, really pushing yourself. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Like um, there are certain exercises where you're gonna feel that burn more, but it's not, it's not more or less like a, an obvious feeling. You're ju they're just gonna feel very fatigued. Um, some areas you might feel more burning than others. Others just very fatigued feeling. So you should feel very fatigued. Um, okay. So, okay. Next thing we're going to do here, look at Kyrie just like, he's just looking at the camera. He's like a star. Um, okay. So I'm going to move this over. So I want you guys to see what I'm doing here. So I want to face this. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see which way you guys can see this good. Probably going to tilt this around this way. Watch out boy. He's being super nice today. Okay, so, oh, you know what? It's over here. All right, bring this down. And I'm gonna bring this up actually right there. Okay, there's a little trick with the bent over rear delt rows. Um, so uh, I know an exercise that gives you a burn for two days. Adductors, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, they're like no joke. Um, okay. <laughs> so for these, I would highly recommend using a, you wanna have something to support, and, and you'll, you'll know why in a second. Have some sort of towel with you because we're gonna be putting our head against this bench right here, okay? And this is going to be my little trick for really targeting those rear delts when you do bent 
over rear delt raises, okay? This is my little trick, like I said. I might actually turn the bench over the other way, so I think you guys will be able to see that a lot better at another angle. So let's do that. Bring this around, and I think, I think right here is gonna be good, guys. That should be good. Just wanna make sure that you guys can see. Um, okay, and so we're gonna place our towel. I'm trying to make sure Cairo doesn't eat the towel. We'll see. He's sneaky. He'll, he'll try to like grab things when I'm not looking. Okay, so what we're gonna do, just make sure you don't have everything, make sure you move all the stuff out of the way. Like I have like a million things over here. This is gonna be the move, guys. So you're going to, you, the goal is to, you really wanna use like bend, stick your butt out. I know it sounds crazy, right? Um, and then you're gonna put, you're gonna have your chest up, okay? And sometimes what you might need to do is with every rep, you might have to literally readjust for every rep to make sure that you keep that position because it's very easy to lower the chest back down. Um, so it's a very concentrated movement. Go lighter um, and uh, yeah, elbows are gonna be slightly bent. I'm gonna use a lighter weight, um, but I'll show you guys. It's gonna target those rear delts. So your head goes right here. Okay, chest up. And then I'm at a weird angle, hold on. I'm hitting right here and I don't wanna do that. So let me bring this, bring it out a little bit further. That should be good. All right, is that a good angle for you guys? Let me know if this is good. I think, I think this is a good angle. Um, if it's weird, let me know and I can readjust. But I think you'll be able to see all of this. Okay, this is much, I think this is better. Is this better? Yes, this is better. Okay, head on there, butt back, chest up. And you're really going to feel those rear delts this way. All right, let me know if that was a good angle for you guys. Try that out. You're definitely going to feel a big difference on working those rear delts out. All right, so we've got, how many sets of these do I have? Okay, I've got four sets of those, and then we've got a good exercise is a little bit different. It's similar to a face pull, but it's a little bit different. Um, in fact, I actually like this better. Sassy says, awesome. Yeah, if you try it, Sassy, let me know. Let me know if you can feel that difference. Um, I'm not gonna take much of a break here because again, this is a smaller muscle and I wasn't going like super, super heavy with that. It's a very slow and controlled movement. Um, so let's go ahead and just knock this, these other, let's get these three sets out of the way. All right. I'm not gonna talk, cause this is like so, it's almost distracting to talk. Okay. Resting another minute. Not a minute, but maybe 45 seconds or so. And then we'll move on and do the last two sets. <laughs> yes, Michael Cairo's here, so is Anaya. <sighs> She's, uh, I don't know what, oh, you know what they're doing? So there's this little, um, it's like a, what do you call it? This is the garage doors over here. So there is, 
like a little crack where they can kind of like see out in an air, a little teeny area. So they're over there like trying to see if they can see any other dogs or whatever. Yeah, it's so, I'll spell it for you. So it's Anaya like that. Anaya like that. Um, okay, we're pretty much ready here, right? So next, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the uh, 15s and do a little bit more weight on this set, see how I feel. Yeah, 10, at least I did 10. Um, what did I miss? Um, so we did a bunch of different exercises. Uh, we did, I don't remember, where did you leave off? What exercise was it that you left from? We were doing seesaw presses, we did the lateral raises, uh, now we're doing the bent over. I've got one more rear delt exercise that I wanna show you, but it's also gonna work the side delts too. I really like this exercise a lot. Um, and then we're gonna go from there and we've got literally just, we're gonna knock out three tricep exercises, so it'll be good. And this is, so basically the workouts that I'm showing you this week, um, unless I feel like there's any type of exercise that maybe I didn't like too much of when I created it this week. Um, we're gonna pretty much keep everything the same. So if you've missed anything, um, I change up my workouts every four weeks. There sometimes there are a couple of different uh, variations or maybe a couple of changes in like the sets, like tempo that I might make. Um, so you definitely don't wanna miss out on those. So going to the store, be right back. Okay, Michael. Um, all right, one more set of these guys and we're moving on to that last shoulder exercise. Um, this is definitely gonna be a good one. I think I'm gonna do a drop set for this last one. So, okay guys. That's enough. I can feel my shoulders starting to wear down here. Okay, so I'm excited to show you about this next exercise, guys. We're gonna do a flat bench on this one. And let me just get all this stuff out of the way. I'm making a huge mess here. So I'm gonna put 15 pounds, we're gonna do a low, this is gonna involve this low pulley um, cable setup that I have here. So 15 pounds on here for, this is basically a low pulley to neck movement. Um, so I'm not cooking tomorrow, um, but I am gonna be working out again, and I'm gonna be doing something a little extra on Saturday, something different, not working out, but I'm doing something different on Saturday evening between seven to eight-ish, so stay tuned because there might be something that involves something fun, um, like what I do on my cooking show. I'm not gonna give anything away there, but uh, just giving a little hint out there to some of you guys that are familiar with my uh, cooking portions that I do. Okay, so you guys are gonna love this. This is great. Um, 
So I'm gonna bring this back to about right there. Yes, I want it right in line with that cable pulley right here. I want it right in the middle. And if you see, it's kind of like it starts really right here, so it's a little bit offset. Um, and yes, that is what I want. Okay, so you can do this two ways. It's wherever you feel it the most. Everybody, like I said, we're built a little different, and as long as it's still considered good form, it's okay. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. You're gonna grab it like you would when you're doing, um, it's very similar, by the way, to a, um, a face pull, right? Um, but you're pulling it to your neck instead, and you're seated, so it's a more concentrated move. So let me know, guys, can you see me okay here? I think so. I think you can still see me here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back, you wanna have that tension. You don't wanna have it to where it's like this. That's not your starting point. Your starting point is when you have tension. And so what you're gonna do is you are going to push your shoulders back, your back, you want your shoulders down and back, and you're basically going to bring up and out. So you can do it two different ways. Um, you can hold it like this. Uh, sorry, you don't wanna bring it that high. Just to the neck. So, and it's a movement where you're moving, you wanna move your whole arms at the same time. So it's not like this. You wanna do like this or you can hold it, how did I hold it last time? This, sometimes for this might be a little bit more comfortable for people instead of like this. So either this or this, okay? Um, or you can even hold it like this if that's better for you and bring it up like that. Um, you just have to really play around. Uh, there's no right or wrong way on gripping, it's just on how it feels better to you. For me, personally, um, you know, I have a little bit of irritation in the past with my wrists. Uh, my wrists can, my wrists tend to be a little weak, so I have to be very careful with my wrists. So I like to hold them like this and bring it up like this. So, kind of like that, okay? Just like that. All right, and I think what I'm gonna do is drop the weight just a little bit because I wanna feel more of a squeeze in my shoulders. Um, okay, so. We're gonna switch this out. I'm gonna go with, instead of a, we're gonna try 10s and I might go a little slower. I was gonna drop just a half a pound down, but, um, or a half down, but I think I'm gonna try the tens. I'm gonna rest for a minute, and after this, we just have three tricep exercises, and I pretty much have like everything with the exception of this part set up. So we're gonna bring this over. That's the, uh, the issue that I have with being a little vertically challenged um, is reaching, so. Okay. So yes, let's point out one thing here. And then um, what I'll do is like, we'll, we'll show you like the, the last exercise that I'm gonna do is a superset. So it's gonna be something that's gonna be, uh, it, it's, it's definitely challenging, but it's gonna be something that you're really, really gonna feel, like you're definitely gonna feel um, those muscles for sure. Okay. Give myself another minute of rest here. All right, so we're gonna try the tens and see if that works out good. Again, you shouldn't be feeling any pain. Um, it, you know, some of you, maybe if you have sensitive shoulders, maybe you're, this, this is generally though, this is generally supposed to be a good shoulder exercise, especially for like your rotator cuffs and stuff, because it's not putting it at a weird, unhealthy angle. Um, it's actually supposed to help them, help rehabilitation. They do suggest like face pulls and stuff, but of course, if you're ever feeling any pain, don't continue to do this. Um, and you don't have to go very, very heavy on this, so. 
pull back just a little bit more. Okay. And like I said, you can hold it um, a couple different ways too. You can hold it this way if you want to. You might even feel a little bit more of a better angle to target those rear delts if you do it that, this way. It just depends on how you feel. All right. Uh, Lorenzo said, this is one of my favorite upper body exercises. Yeah, and I love that it targets, like it targets your rear delts, but it really does work the middle delt too. I, I kind of really consider it maybe like a, almost like a finisher exercise. So I always like to place these at the very end of my exercise or of my workouts, um, just because you can, they're, they're good for higher reps and you know, um, lighter weights, higher reps, finisher type of exercise. So yeah, definitely good to incorporate. All right. Um, is it Yaakov? Welcome, by the way, happy to have you here. Um, this is absolutely what I needed to find. Yay, I'm so glad to hear that. Well, is it, now am I pronouncing your name right? Is it Yaakov? Um, let me know if I'm wrong, but hit the follow button. I'm happy to have you. This way you don't miss out on any of my workouts and stuff. Um, I am live all throughout the week doing my workouts, but, um, okay, good, good, good. Ah, thank you so much for the follow. This way you don't miss out on stuff. Um, it also helps to support the show that I have going on here and helps me to be able to reach out to more people. So, um, very happy you're here for sure. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to another, we're going to do the same, again, the same thing. I have two more of these and then we're going to move on to, we're going to do, um, uh, triceps. Okay. All right. So, um, I have to pack up and leave my office now. I'll connect again when I get home. Good session, Christina. Thank you so much, Lorenzo. I'm so glad that you were able to join. Uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Um, okay. So again, you can do this one or two ways. Um, these straps right here, by the way, this is from Spud Inc. Um, I got my, you can get Spud Inc. from Amazon. So just definitely check them out. Um, it's a great pulley system. You can, they now, guys, this is crazy. So they now have a pulley system by Spud Inc. where you can, if you don't have a squat rack or something like where you can screw stuff in or whatever, or hang stuff that are, that's really heavy, they have a door stopper version of a pulley system, which is great. So this way you can take like, they have like a door stopper, you hook it into the door and you can actually set up your pulley on your door inside your house. You don't have to have a garage gym. Um, you don't have to have a squat rack to hook things to or something super heavy. So that is awesome. And I'm so glad because now there's going to be like so many more people that can use this pulley system and, and really see just how amazing it is. So I'm sorry guys, I'm so passionate about this pulley system because it has really helped me with my workouts and I, I don't know how to ever go to a commercial gym now because I literally have everything I need here. So, I mean, if you guys are interested in like building your home gym, do it one step at a time. Don't feel overwhelmed, okay? Um, Rosalinda says, are, are pulleys similar to resistance bands? So pulleys, okay, so it's a little bit different. Resistance is going to be kind of more like a rubber band feel. So you're gonna feel like that constant tension with but with a pulley, with a pulley, it's more of a very more even and smooth movement. Okay. So it's not as it's, it's very different feeling. Like it's pretty much like with lifting weights, but through a very smooth and controlled movement. Um, so yeah, hopefully I explained that. Okay. I feel like sometimes when I explain things, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know, but, um, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, if, if you ever get a chance to try it out, they do have, like I said, they do have a door stopper one. So that's kind of like next level thing. So I would stick, you know, do what you can stick with bands, work your way up and then go from there. Um, 
Okay, good, thank you. <laughs> I always wonder sometimes, am I, am, I, am I explaining myself right? People think I'm nuts, you know? I don't know. So, okay, one more set of these and then we're moving on to triceps before we are done with the workout, guys. Okay, so remember, shoulders back and it's gonna be one movement at a time. So you're not doing this, right? You're not just, it's, it's gonna be, you're moving at the same time, okay? Rosalind, I appreciate that. I try, I try. <laughs> All right, so the next exercise that I have written down here. Okay, these are lying tricep extensions or supinated tricep extensions, whatever you wanna call them. There's a multiple different names for them. Um, this is going to be kind of like, I'm gonna go lighter weight on this. This is a kind of like my, it's kind of like my me working my way into triceps. So just like I did with shoulders, I started with something a little bit more, just kind of like a, um, what I like to call, oh, what do you call them? I'm losing my train of thought here. It's, uh, it's kind of like you're, you're activating. That's what I'm looking for. So it's kind of a good activator exercise where it really kind of like really starts to activate those tricep muscles and makes it, to where you can perform these other exercises a little bit better and be able to feel it in your triceps more. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start, oh, uh, what angle should I put this for you guys? Probably right here is good actually. I'm gonna keep it right here. And so I'm gonna just lay down and I'm gonna use very light weights. I might even try fives, but um, we'll try the tens. We'll try the tens and see what happens. All right. So you're gonna keep your shoulders, again, this is another, this is just a very, uh, joint friendly exercise. Um, what you want to do is you want to start with your, you want your elbows in close to your, you want the dumbbells close to your ears up like this to almost where they're out. And then you're going to just bring them up like that. Okay. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So we're just gonna rest for a little bit. I can feel like I can feel myself kind of like winding down, you know? I mean, I know I still have about two and a half more exercises to do, but I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I can feel like I, I had a good shoulder workout. We, we really, really, I mean, I felt a lot of um, good work going on with my shoulders. So I can feel my body kind of like slowly just wanting to get to like relaxing, which is crazy because after this, I think I have cardio. I think I, I think I, I'm pretty sure I have cardio on my schedule. Um, so when I'm building, I don't do lots of cardio. Uh, when I'm building, I do maybe two days of cardio um, per week versus when I'm losing weight, I'll do cardio like five to six days a week. So, um, you know, it, it really just depends. I might, I might save it for tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Tomorrow, by the way, is um, glute and hamstring day. So that should be fun. Um, that's always a hard one for me because I'm like, at this point, you know, I've already done legs once and 
my le you know, my body's just like at the point where it's close to needing to rest. Um, so those are, glute days are definitely hard because I really, really push myself too. Um, okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do just two more sets of these. Again, I'm not, these are not, this is really just kind of activating my triceps. So we're gonna do a little bit more work with this. Um, but it's not a very strenuous exercise. Again, it's just a very concentrated movement and we're just looking at activating those triceps, okay? So we're starting here, we're keeping them up and keeping our elbows close in and just pushing up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, I don't know how much I did last time. I feel like I need to, I need to remember these things. Um, normally I do write them. I have like an app that I normally put everything in my phone. I think I've told you that like a million, I've, I think I've shared that before. So I'm like, just kind of like memorizing, trying to memorize all of these things in my head here. Um, all right, so after this exercise, we just have one more set of this, guys. After this exercise, we are doing um, standing cable overhead tricep extensions with this right here. Um, and I might need to go a little heavier. We might do a little slower tempo. We'll see. Okay. And then the last exercise is going to be a super set. I'm going to share that with you guys in a minute. That's going to be very good. That's going to be, it's kind of like a, I don't want to say it's like a finisher, but it's going to be pretty intense. Um, uh, I know who knows about this. Alicia knows about this exercise. So, because um, that is actually one of the things that she is currently doing. So, all right. This is the last one of these. So again, bring them down as your starting point, close by your ears, and push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Oh my gosh, I feel my arms. Nine, 10. Okay, that was rough. That last one was hard. Okay, so we don't need the bench for this anymore. I'm gonna move this out of the way. This way you guys can see a little bit better here. Look at me, I have like everything like all over the floor. Okay. How many sets do I have of this one? This one is going to be four sets, um, but we're gonna knock these out quickly. I don't wanna take a lot of rest time with this. In fact, I'm gonna probably wait another 30 seconds and then we're gonna just go right on into these. Um, now there's numerous different ways that you can do this. Some people feel better when they do like a slight bend forward. I personally don't feel them as well that way. So I like to just come up like this. It's literally just, and you can use a staggered stance if you want to, um, but, Again, it, it's just really personal preference and I like standing better. I just, I just feel better. I just feel it more in my triceps when I stand. So I'm not bend over. All right. So here we go. All right, so I did 15 of those. I think I'm gonna keep it at that weight. I think I actually like that weight that I have. I definitely feel it. Um, I feel, it feels very, very tight. So you should feel um, 
You should feel some sort of pump. When you're working out, you should feel something in those triceps. It shouldn't be to where it's super easy, you're not exhausted, um, and you feel like life can just go on just normally and not even feel any difference. So you have to, you should feel something. Um, okay, questions guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but I'm gonna just be kind of like zipping right through this. Again, we just have, how many sets of these did I say I have? Um, four. So I have three more sets of these and then we're gonna move right on into the super set, which is going to be hard. We're gonna be using, um, let me think. We're gonna be using the straight bar. The straight bar is gonna be easier for the superset. And we're kind of gonna to have to go, it's going to be, we're gonna drop the weight a little bit for the second part of the superset. Um, so I'll probably, we'll see, we're gonna change some things around. We're gonna use the pulley that goes up right here. So I'm gonna change this system out and show you how easy it is to just unhook everything and put on the double pulley system that I have right here. Um, okay, let me move this out of the way. Here we go. That was 15. <sighs> two more sets, two more sets and then we're done. Well, with at least with that exercise anyway. Then we have our super set. Um, so let me explain what the super set is. Um, that's, it's, it sounds easy, but it's not gonna be super easy. So, um, all right, so what we're first gonna do is you're gonna do 10 or 10, 12, whatever, uh, straight bar, um, it's, it's just straight bar tricep extensions. Then we're gonna switch to a lower weight. And the reason why we switch to a lower weight is because it's actually harder and more strenuous on the wrists. You wanna look out for your wrist health. We're a little bit weaker when we go this way. So we're gonna drop the weight a little bit and then we're gonna rep, do another 10 reps with a little bit of a lighter weight immediately after, okay? Um, so that's, you're, you're gonna really, really feel that amazing pump afterwards. Okay, so I don't wanna waste any time here. I'm just gonna get right on into it, guys. One more set. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. One more exercise after this. All right, what else can I tell you guys? So tomorrow, like I said, we're doing glutes and hamstrings. It's going to be a very intense workout. Um, we're working with some heavy weights and also some lighter stuff. So it's gonna be like a mixture. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be good. Uh, it's not, I mean, fun. I say fun. It's not going to be like, yes, like going out for a burger and some fries fun or watching a movie fun, but it's going to be, um, it's going to be, what's the word I use here? <laughs> It'll be, um, good. It'll be good for strength gains. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, and you know what, who knows? Maybe some of you think it's fun, right? You know, I mean, it can be, I mean, it's fun with you guys. Like I'm more of just like, when I am working out by myself, guys, you should see me. I'm like really, really, really serious. And I just like, I'm so focused. That's why it's like hard for me. Sometimes I really have to like 
be mindful because I get distracted very, very easily. So I'm like, I need to be mindful of like, you know, when I'm talking to you guys, cause I could sit there and just keep talking and have conversations with you guys and just totally like lose track of my rest time. So I need to be, I do need to be more mindful of that. That is one of the things that I do struggle with. Um, okay. So this is the last set of this one. Again, we're gonna kind of loop around right here and try to do 15 of these again. All right, so now we're gonna change everything up, guys. This is gonna be super easy. I'm literally, I'm not gonna worry about putting any of this stuff away because again, we are not, I just wanna show you just like how quickly you can actually take all of this stuff apart. So literally, that's gone, right? The next thing that I'm gonna put up is just this one pulley system right here with the two attachments, okay? This is very easy to set up. I have one pulley on one side right here. And then the other pulley is in the back right here. And I'm gonna attach that to the weight. Um, but I need to figure out what the weight is that I wanna do. I think I am going to stick with 15 and then I can take five off for 10. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It might be a little light, but we'll worry about that afterwards. You'll find that when you do supersets, you're gonna, especially if you're working, or if you're doing a superset with the same, working the same muscle, not working like an opposite muscle, then you're going to need to go a little bit lighter than you normally do, because it's like essentially you're working, you're doing a lot of reps. So all at once in one set. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, so I'm gonna knock out 12, maybe 12 of these. And so you wanna start, you don't want to, I'm gonna show you guys right here. So when you do them, I think I can, yeah, this is a good, this is an okay angle for me. So when you do them, you don't want to come all the way up here, right? You wanna start right here and keep it so it's, so just like that, shoulders back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we're gonna drop the set. We're gonna drop the weight a little bit. And we're gonna do another 10, but we're gonna do a reverse grip, okay? It's the same thing, but reverse grip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so you'll find that, you know, again, when you're doing reverse grip, you probably will need to go a little bit lighter um, just for the sake of it's kind of at a, like a weird angle. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna add that weight back on and we're gonna do another set. We've got two more sets of these and then we're done, guys. Like, this has been great. And the eat, you know, adding this is like really not very hard. It literally just slips right through and goes on there very easily. We're gonna wait, I'm gonna give myself another 30 seconds and then we'll go from there. So I wanted to show you, um, I just highlighted the, uh, those are the Versa grips that I always talk about. I'm not using them today, but um, these I've had for, I've had the Versa grips for years and they work very, very well. They're very durable. They're good for like, you know, like pull-ups, grip strength. A lot of the times when you do your, like any, like any type of like heavy exercises when you're pulling, especially like deadlifts, um, anything with like the barbell, uh, it, it's, it's very hard to, 
w once you get to a point where you're stronger, uh, your grip strength usually often fails more or quicker than your, um, you know, than, than the actual strength of the muscle that you're working. So just keep that in mind. Um, the gloves right here, these are actually what I have. I have their Harbinger or whatever. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but they're really good gloves to have. So I absolutely do love them. Um, flooring guys, I always mention this, but I want to mention it again because the flooring is freaking awesome. Like I love this flooring. If I was to do stuff on concrete, I couldn't really, it, it gives you a cushion, which is nice. And there are just some things that you can't just like drop or throw. And with this kind of like the, with the flooring, you could literally just kind of put stuff down and not have to worry about it breaking on the concrete floor. So, uh, it's also good for when you're doing like your deadlifts or, you know, you, you want to have some sort of something aside from just a concrete floor. Um, it helps keep a little thing, keep things a little bit safer too. Um, okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get this second set out of the way. Again, shoulders back. One, two, three. I could have gone heavier, to be honest with you on this one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then drop it. We're going to drop the weight again on this one and do reverse grip reverse grip that'll be good and there we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I think I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on this, actually. Probably, probably just by, hmm. I have another five here, guys. I don't know what, I thought I had like another five somewhere and now I have no idea. There it is. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add another five, so. I am, or maybe, I know what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, I'm just like talking to myself here. Don't mind me. I'm gonna add a 10 on here, and then I'll drop the 10 and do my reverse grips. I think that is gonna be a little bit better for me. I need to feel it just a little bit more. All right, guys, this is the last set that we're doing here. Um, I highly recommend that you do some stretching afterwards um, because that is just good for, you know, stretching also helps with healing. It helps with growth because you're basically, you know, you're stretching those muscles out, you're allowing them to elongate and then giving them that rest time that they need. So it's definitely very important to stretch. Um, Yes, I have been guilty of not stretching after my workouts. I'm like, I am like the golden child for, you know, I, I'm just like great at before stretching, like do my dynamic stretches and my mobility movements before my exercises. But I kind of slack a little bit on the um, stretching afterwards. So that is, uh, I think we all, there is all something that we can improve upon. And that is definitely one of them for me. So, okay. Last set, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh oh, thirteen. 14, 15. Okay, I'm gonna drop the weight and I'm gonna do reverse grips for another 10 or 12 or maybe 15. Just going all out on the last exercise here. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. All right, guys, guess what? We are done. We're done with the exercises. We're done. If you guys did this along with me, let me know, reach out to me, email me, whatever. Um, I hope this helped you guys out and give you guys some tips on, and also like tricks on like how to perform the exercise better. Good for shoulder strength, good for shoulder health, rotator cuff health. I always perform exercises that are not too strenuous on the joints. Um, I do like to keep my uh, health, my, my, you know, all my ligaments, my joints, all of that stuff that matters as well. So, um, if you guys have any last questions, let me know real quick. Um, but if you guys have, don't have any other questions, then I'm gonna just wait around here for like, maybe like a couple of minutes as I'm cleaning up. And if you guys have questions, let me know, put them in there now. Uh, I will be on live again tomorrow same time, so at four. And then like I said, we're doing glutes and hamstrings. You don't want to miss out glute and hamstrings, especially the ladies. Like we're all about, you know, improving the lower body area. Um, I mean, we should all be about improving the whole entire body, but I know that a lot of people, a lot of women as women, we do struggle with our lower bodies. So, uh, Definitely check out, this is my own personal glute and hamstring routine. So I'm excited to share from you. I do change it up every four weeks. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put these dumbbells away and I'll wait on here and let, see if you guys have any other questions, give you guys some, to, some time to type in and see if you wanna reach out, ask any questions. Um, maybe you have some questions on the equipment that I have, I don't know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, fairly easy to set up guys. It's, you know, like I said, a pulley system is really fairly inexpensive compared to setting up like, let's say, um, buying a machine or whatever. I mean, you know, you can slowly build up your home gym by just piecing together little by little. Again, I, I started with resistance bands, so I had a lot of success with them. Um, all right. Looks like no questions. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm so happy that you guys were able to watch this and see my workout. Um, but as always, I will see you guys next time and I hope you have a good evening.